So nice to meet and chat with you both and congrats on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so to start it off, how would you describe each other's characters in three words? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, damn, that's, a, that's a tough, really good question. Good way to do it. Oh, like my character, got it. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. His character, in my, from my point of view, would seem gritty, um, edgy, and <laughs> determined. Yeah, I'd say Jose's character is definitely strong, uh, determined, and um, a leader for sure. I want to say, like, Joe's definitely a leader. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for him, like, I don't think they would have gone as far as they did. Um, and also, let's see, he's also very ambitious. Um, <laughs> uh, he has a good head on his shoulders. Um, oh, I wish I would have used that word for you. That's what I meant to say, too, <laughs> ambitious, yeah. Um, <laughs> ambitious and... Um, <laughs> I want to say that towards the end of the film, he he becomes very. Um, I don't. I don't. I want. I want, I want to maybe tell me find a better word for it, but like more soft and yeah. more in, a, yeah. in touch with his feelings. And I think in the beginning of the film, he's very much like a little macho man, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. He up and like he doesn't have to put on a facade. <clears throat> Uh, I guess for for Paulina's character, um, obviously, just you know, strong. I mean, it's people think it's just a masculine word, but uh, she really embodied you know, the true essence of you know a, a strong woman on, on screen. Uh, and two, uh, at least for me, obviously, just with her character, uh, smart because you know she's you know a, a writer and she has opportunity to to leave the small town city to go to another college and stuff like that. And um, I guess the third one would be, uh, from Joe's point of view, I, I guess uh, I, there could be a better word used, but I guess just uh, motivating. I mean, she's the reason why he wants to do better for himself. So I guess those three words, strong, smart, and motivating. So a lot of the scenes in the film were filmed, you know, on the golf course. So we wanted to know, were you guys actually playing golf in the film? And if not... Uh, what did you have to learn to pre or prepare to, you know, act out those scenes and make it look realistic? We were definitely playing golf in the film. <laughs> we were 100% playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have like an instructor before or had you guys played golf, you know, in the past? Um, when we got to Columbia, we, we, we had some great instructors that showed us the game of golf. And, um, you know, uh, we got we fell in love with the game and we were playing so much golf so even off screen you know we were playing golf learning how to play and we had other um people in the movie that were really great golfers so they were teaching us too so yeah we learned a lot i i happened to see a coach before even flying out and meeting the columbia coaches as well so uh yeah that but the thing is with that game you, there's not enough preparation you can't really prepare to play it uh comfortably in in the span of a week or two so you need you need years <laughs> to, to get good at that game <laughs> yeah luckily I, I did pick up the game you know before I started shooting so um you know the golf bug was it definitely bit me and I was obsessed with playing and then once I got the opportunity to read for the script I just felt like it was a dream come true because I loved the game I love playing and uh it just it just made me you know, that much more motivated and that much more passionate to, to make sure that, um, you know, I did, I did really well for this movie. Um, awesome. And then I guess just to move on. So I know you're playing or portraying characters who are real life people, you know, living during this time in the 1950s. Um, so I wanted to ask you both, you know, what was your favorite thing about, you know, playing these characters from this era? Um, was it, you know, the clothes or the costumes you got to wear, the cars you got to drive in, or I guess just what stood out about oh, this yeah. in general? The cars were definitely fun. And I think, uh, you know, oh, putting on a costume and then stepping into character is always like a kind of transcendental experience. It's really amazing. Um, but I think just learning about that time period, you know, uh, I felt like I was in a group of actors that definitely really cared about uh, the story, uh, what was happening at that time, and just being able to learn about Texas in the 1950s, you know, something that we don't really think about all the time. So learning about the players, learning about golf, learning about um, the struggles that they were going through, and through that, you know, kind of 
associating that with the things that we go through now still, you know? What's cool too about that time period or whenever you make period pieces is that every once in a while, you know, I feel when you're in character and in costume and surrounded by extras that are in costume and by the cars and, you know, set design that is period appropriate, it, it, like every once in a while or ideally in every scene, if if you just uh, fix that stuff in your eyeline, you could really suspend your disbelief for a split second and play pretend and be like, whoa, I'm in the 50s right now. And it just like for 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 fleeting moments, you could actually feel that th that like suspension of disbelief, you know, where you just you're like, wow, I feel transported. I'm like really here. This is what this is the closest I'll ever get to knowing what it was like to be in that era. I think knowing that women were still so strong um, and they continue to and they were not silenced. And also the clothes, they were pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> that was oh, I guess the, the golf clubs were kind of cool, like using actual golf clubs from the 1950s. I mean, they're much more different. They're a little bit of a smaller face. They're, uh, they're wooden, not like titanium that you would use now. So um, that was just, you know, a, a cool thing to, you know, test out, try out, you know. Yeah, it's awesome. I think even watching the film, you know, you kind of feel transported like in that, you know, community and in that scene. Mm -hmm. so that was really awesome. Um, I guess kind of touching off of that. Uh, so you were playing these characters from this era um, and then kind of jumping to today. You know, what's one thing you think your character would want to know about the world currently today? I think they'd be super happy to know that there's other Latino golfers in the world right now. You know, I think um, just being able to see people that... Um, represent them in the way and knowing that they paved the way um for other people who want to be golfers or people that really just want to follow that dream their dreams that look like them you know i think that's something that's really beautiful and we felt inspired by that and hopefully through this movie we can inspire another generation of people that want to just follow their dreams wherever they're from really yeah well i mean miguel covered it pretty well um but if i guess if i had to say something about my personal character um yeah i mean I, I i really can't add to that to be honest I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure lupe would have been very very happy to hear that you know latinos have made it onto the pga tour or just taken up the sport of golf uh to a much you know more extensive degree than people did at that time he would want to know i guess you know the impact on on today's game uh with it being you know many different races playing you know this this game of golf it was such uh it was such a game where it was just kind of like a you know a collected confined sport amongst a certain you know race at that time and i guess just to see how far the game's grown uh, would be would be really great to see in his eyes for sure i think for me just the stories being told mm -hmm. and praise i mean they're screening it at the white house it's really big awesome thank you guys for sharing that and i know you know, your characters, you're very, um, on screen are very close knit. Um, and I'm sure that translated offset too. So I was wondering if you had any, you know, funny behind the scenes moments or how did you build kind of those connections off screen as well that you can share? Yeah, you know, I think I think it's important when you're when you're talking about like uh, these boys had such a camaraderie and they they were like really good friends. And it was amazing the cast that we had because we, we naturally clicked. Um, I think one of the funniest moments is when we went to first play golf together and um, it was the first time that we really kind of all bonded and I'll speak for myself. My golf game was pretty bad, but I felt, I felt like I was very supported by the guys and I hit a, a an amazing putt and they picked me up hey. and celebrated. And um, I think just those moments, you know, it shows you how much fun you can have with the sport and also how much fun you have when you're with people that, you know have the same values as you so yeah <laughs> well well i mean if you want to talk about funny moments there was a moment where uh you know since we were at a crazy high altitude in colombia um uh there was a day where i didn't eat anything all freaking day and i and we was just a full day of golfing like golfing non-stop and non-stop and down in colombia they really really uh value this drink called uh uh aguardiente which is fire water and at the end of the day we were just like hey ufc fight is happening um let's let's just go nuts let's just have a great time and and just what like let's all get together and i was completely like starved the whole day completely exhausted and, and decided to just take a shot of this 
famous um, Aguardiente. And um, we started watching this UFC fight. And I was watching this dude get punched in the face, like really viciously. And I was literally like, just, I just couldn't handle it. And I passed out like, <laughs> like, like right on a bed. And everyone was like freaked out. They're like, holy, like, holy moly, what happened to Jose? And then I just like woke right back up, like not too long after. I'm like, I'm going to my room. Like, this is too much. But the altitude had a lot to do with it too, you know, because yeah. it was just, it was just a combination of a lot of things. But if you're talking about a funny, funny set story, you know, that's, it, that definitely helped us bond a little bit more, I would say, I hope. <laughs> yeah, we hung out. We kind of just got to know each other and um, we were just pretty much jokes on set. To me, that's probably like the toughest thing whenever you're doing a you know a, a film is that you're you're being thrown in a group that you're supposed to have relationships as if you've known each other for for years you know and that chemistry needs to be displayed and and it shows on camera whether it's there or whether it's not so um i guess just overall I, i'm really grateful to everyone in the cast I'm grateful to you know pauline especially having that dynamic of you know being i guess you know um boyfriend girlfriend on on film or not even just the relationship shown on, on screen it's it's you know it, it could be tough if um if you know one's making it hard for the other to try to find a connection and stuff like that but um i just feel like the the, the tone on on set even behind the camera was just always just fun and and we were just you know always you know tr you know transforming it's little moments like you know getting in the van and, and driving to set or little moments like in cast holding when we're done shooting a scene that you kind of help build that bond to make sure that the chemistry is being shown on set so that's an awesome story and i'm like that connection off screen and those like funny moments like you could just see like the joy of your characters uh, you know on screen too having fun with each other so that was awesome to see um and then just final question to wrap it up uh you guys kind of touched on this a bit but um is there a specific message or theme you hope audiences take away after watching uh the long game i would say uh work hard we're i mean like these 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 kids i mean they knew the meaning of hard work uh, yeah. in a way that you know you rarely see nowadays and that um it, you know for, for with certain people you know it's like but it just these kids you know they let water go under the bridge with anything that that you know was hard on life like any difficulty in life they just overcame and they just worked through it and had this sort of different like attitude that you know could be described as being super hard working you know yeah, I agree with Jose. I think it's just about um, no matter the circumstances that you're in, these boys still were able to make uh, golf courses and play golf. And, you know, they were they were under really difficult circumstances. And um, hopefully when people watch the film, they can feel like no matter what my circumstances, I can I can follow my dreams and, and, and really persevere. Yeah, I mean, I guess the theme of um, obviously with you know Pauline's char character of, of you know having a strong woman and 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 also the overall thing for me is just you know chasing your dreams staying dedicated and you know just the underdog of um, achieving something that's you know bigger than you and and um and if you want something you know you got to work for it go get it yeah the impossible is possible mm-hmm Awesome. Thank you both for sharing it. Yeah, after watching for me, it was just super inspirational, but also like fun. So it was a yeah. of a lot of different, you know, things. So that was awesome. Um, so yeah, that's all I have. But thank you both again for taking the time. And thanks, Ella. Again, on the film, it was an awesome watch. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Ella. Thank you. Nice Take talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Young Entertainment Magazine. Thank you.